I'm Shannon Duke from Team Smart Pack. I'm a dressage trainer down in Wellington, Florida, and how our dressage braids look are a really important part of our competition attire. My favorite braider, Sarah Perry, is going to show you today how she does her dressage braids for me, and she'll show you some tips and tricks that she uses along the way. I use a pulling comb, rubber bands, a darning needle, and I use wax thread to tie my braids up. So the reason I use a pulling comb is that's about how wide I like to do my braids. If I pull it down, that way you have a nice crisp straight line. Leave that right there. So when I'm braiding down, I pull fairly tight just to keep a good amount of tension. And I count how many times I'm going down so that the braids stay about the same length because that makes tying up much easier. So I'll try to fit one more in here and I'll leave that just because the saddle pad will probably cover it. If it is shown by the saddle pad, I'll throw a super small braid in there but this is gonna be hard because we have very short here and long on the other side. So what I try to do is when I'm parting it when I have a situation like this, it may not be the most even parts, but I wanna try to get a long, some long hairs in with the short stuff so that I can braid down just as far. It might make your life a little bit easier if you have a horse with a thick mane to braid wet or a horse with lots of flyaways. And then take another rubber band. I pull the hair up just about an inch above the original tie. And I just loop that around so you don't have a bunch of flyaways when you tie these up. For cutting my wax thread, I just send it around my arm. Depending on how many braids you have in, because you can use one piece multiple times, I normally send it around four or five times and then cut it right where you have your excess from the beginning. So I take the end of my thread, I loop it one, two times, like so, and then I take my needle and I send it through my braid rubber bands down the bottom, pull tight. Send it up the center of my braid, pull tight. And the next part when you send it back down is key because you want to keep your braids tight. You want to try to send it back through your rubber bands. So you want to send it through your rubber band and then back through the bottom. Because if you have it come out the center at all, you're going to have a crooked looking braid. Up, pull tight. Down, up, pull tight. Generally, just because these braids I find to be super easy and fairly quick, I don't leave my braids in. If they stay nice and I have a horse that I can trust overnight, probably just overnight if I were to leave them. So I do prefer to braid forelocks wet or with product if you prefer to use product. I start like you're starting, like if you were to braid your own hair down in a French braid, that's what I always think about. And then you just trying to be as straight as possible braiding down their forelock is the most important part. And I always take very thin pieces instead of thick pieces. And try to stay as even with as much as you grab every time you go down, just because that'll change your braid size as you're going down. So then I go up the center of my braid. I'm gonna send my needle straight through and then up once more. 
If you have any more questions or need more information on braiding, please check out SmartPak's blog on blog.smartpak.com. Thanks, Sarah Perry, for showing your great breeding techniques. And thanks for watching and have a great ride.